What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, AEW Full Gear is this Saturday. I'm filming this on uh, Thursday night, and I'm really looking forward to one particular match. Now, normally I do my thoughts and opinions or my previews and predictions on the upcoming pay per views, um, but I want to do something different. I'm really only interested in seeing what's gonna happen with mjf and uh john moxley for the aew world championship not to say that there's not gonna be good matches on the show i think the show is gonna have plenty of good matches it's just this is the story that i'm really really invested in the most um the only thing i have a concern with is how many matches are on this uh particular card i believe there's 11 matches so this show is probably gonna be a no less than maybe four hours possibly we'll see um but i do feel like the show is gonna be pretty long but i do think there's gonna be a lot of great matches to enjoy but i, I just really want to focus mainly on mjf john moxley for the world title um to be honest with you there's only one way this show needs to end and i think we all know uh john moxley needs to drop the title to mjf mjf needs to win whether it's him cheating or whether it's him winning legit i'm just want him to win i think a lot of us want to see him as the champion i think it is his time um this is the only real reason why you would even bring him back um earlier this year i mean to be honest with you he's a, a a homegrown AEW talent he didn't come from another company like or date wwe he is homegrown there he's been one of their premier talkers and just premier workers in the indian company since its inception ever since i first seen him like on television when i first started watching AEW, i was like yo this this guy got something like he is a really good heel and i appreciate the work that he does as a heel Hell, i appreciate his promo skills they're top notch his promo skills alone warrants him having a world championship opportunity but i i just love the fact that he's able to blend the reality between what's a storyline what's real we all know his uh situation with tony khan and wanting more money and potentially re-signing with him and it's all led up to this moment now the thing that I'm really concerned about with this whole situation is how they're going to book this. How will Tony Khan book this? Will he keep him a heel or will he turn him face? Me personally, I think MJF works better as a heel right now. Granted, the fans love him. People love him. People are going to cheer him. This is just kind of how wrestling is, especially if people like you, whether you're a bad guy or not. People are going to want to pay to see you. People are going to want to be, I guess you could say, disrespected. You know, well, they, they're going to want to be disrespected by you. It's weird how wrestling fans work. You would think they would want to cheer the good guy. And it used to be like that back in the day. But as you've seen just in many years of wrestling, the heels tend to get a lot of the love because the heels get to kind of really explore their character. And people can appreciate that. You guys remember the rock was a baby face when he came into wwe it didn't work when they turned him heel and people started booing him for the right reasons they started to see his charisma they start to see this type of attitude this this different dimension of him that made people want to cheer him that made people want to uh you know root for him and the same things happened here with mjf mjf wherever he was going like wherever he was whatever city it was except his home uh hometown he was getting booed out the building because he knew how to get the crowd riled up. But once everything happened with Tony Khan and he went on that 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 work shoot promo, bro. Ever since that, ever since that moment, and it was it was it's like his stardom just rocket shipped even more to the to the moon, and it was it was quite interesting to see. And then when he came back, the huge reception he got. And, he, you know, he started playing to the heel side. And now they're they're toting the line of will he turn? Um, will he show his true colors? Will the devil show his true colors? Or will he, you know, be more aligned of a, of a person 
is going to try to win fairly. I don't know. It's an interesting concept, and I like the way they're playing with that. But at the same time, I think personally, I think he needs to do some dastardly stuff. Granted, he's going to get cheered no matter what he does. If it's a heel or a babyface role, he's going to get cheered as long as he wins the championship. But I just think that him being a heel, it just works better. And then you can potentially have him have some great feuds with baby faces to get them over you know what i'm saying a good heel can help a baby face really get to that next level for example wardlow wardlow was the hottest when he was teetering on turning on mjf he was the hottest in aew like it was just crazy everywhere they went they were wanting him to turn on him and then when he finally did it was it was a pretty good moment man granted he hasn't had that same type of popularity since then and hopefully he can regain that going forward but once again good heel can bring out a good baby face story so i i'm really just mostly focused on this particular match yes i'm i will check out the other matches and i've been debating if i'm gonna do the live stream only because it's gonna be such a long show but for you guys i'm gonna sit there and i'm gonna watch the show with you guys we're gonna have a good time and i'm really just gonna be looking forward to what they do with uh mjf and john moxley i think john moxley he's just a staple in aew uh it, john moxley can lose the title and it won't hurt him he's the one guy in aew him and like jericho they can lose a match a high profile match even danielson even though i think danielson does need a big win at some point um they can lose matches and still be ridiculously over. We saw it happen with uh, John Moxley plenty of times. We've seen it happen with Jericho. So I think Moxley can take this loss, whether it's a clean loss or a, a, a loss due to some shenanigans, that's left to be decided. The only other thing that I'm really concerned with is the whole firm situation. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm... I'm kind of indifferent to that. I think it's kind of distracting from what needs to be done here. What's happening between MJF and John Moxley? I think the firm situation, yeah, they, I think they they've kind of at they convoluted it a little bit too much with him turning on the firm. Like I don't need you guys. Like I would I would appreciate maybe if they did that after afterwards after the uh, the match, but. That's another thing that I'm kind of worried about. I hope they don't get involved in the situation to the point where it screws over MJF because then it's going to be like, I don't, I don't know. I think the, the, the proper opportunity for him to win is this Saturday. That's just my opinion, and I don't think you want to distract distract what's going on. And uh, uh, on MJF's recent promo, it was like, not this week, but last week, he was on a podcast and he was talking about how he's always been overshadowed in big moments because of other things that were happening. Hell, we saw what happened when he returned. It got overshadowed because of the media scrum. So I hope him winning, however he wins, and it, him being the focus, that's what the show needs to end that's how it needs to end in my personal opinion he needs to be the focus he needs to be the guy moving forward that's gonna be the world champion and put the company on his back because to be honest with you he's been the best part of AEW every single week for weeks now even when he was on television more he was still the best part of the show there's no denying that you know so hopefully Tony Khan doesn't mess this up just it, it, it's simple booking he needs to be the champ and we go from there how you get him to that spot is going to be interesting but as long as he becomes the champ and it makes sense and it doesn't ruin his character i'm all for it so that's the match i'm really looking forward to the most that's my preview and predictions honestly like i said this is the one match i really want to talk about and really am looking forward to and there's other matches i can't wait to see but this is the one i really just wanted to make a video on so I'm going to give the question to you guys, man, down in the comments below. Who do you think will win? Why? Why not? Um, do you guys think MJF should defeat uh, um, 
John Moxley as a face, you know, not cheating? Or do you think he should be a heel and win this match? Or do you guys, some of you guys think he shouldn't be the champion yet? Do you guys think he, they should hold it off to another pay-per-view? Granted, I'm one of those people that's like, no, I think his time is now. But let me know down below. I want to get your thoughts and opinion on it. And uh, yeah, man, uh, most likely I will be uh, streaming uh aew full gear this saturday so be on the lookout for that man but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 100k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace